It was just minutes after the Hubbard Woods school shootings when Lori Dan wound up at the Andrew home on nearby Kent Lane. Ruth Andrew was in the kitchen when suddenly Lori Dan walked in with a gun in each hand. She had two guns, but she had she wasn't pointing at anyone. She was just holding it down. Describe her to me. She's a, a little slightly Shit. built gal, yeah, kind of on yes. the chunky side and red hair. 20-year-old Philip Andrew tried to wrestle one of the guns away from Lori Dan. He was shot in the chest. He managed to hang on to the gun as he stumbled from the house and fell on the driveway. Paramedics pulled him to safety, rushed him to a hospital for surgery. For a time, it was feared that Dan held other hostages. But everyone in the Andrew house, including an 84-year-old man and his nurse, got away. From then on, Lori Dan was alone in the house, surrounded by SWAT team police officers prepared to shoot her down if she tried to get away. But negotiations were the word of the day. It was decided to try to talk her into giving herself up. At one point, she did talk to her parents by telephone. And late this afternoon, the parents were brought to the scene. They tried to talk to her by a police megaphone. Apparently, there was no response. And just before 7.30 this evening, word came from Winnetka police that the siege was finally over. Lori Dan was dead. And she shot herself in the head this time with a 32 caliber revolver. Uh-huh. Where? In the head. When? Any idea when? Where? I had no idea when. Tonight, some additional information about Lori Dan's murderous behavior was released by Winnetka police. Dan was apparently preparing to kill the Rush family children with poisoned milk. She had told Mrs. Rush that she was a nurse at Everton Hospital, <coughs> that that is why she wanted to take the uh, youngsters to Everton Hospital. She uh, apparently took some milk with her when she took the children. And we had evidence that the milk had been tampered with. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.